Lesson 51, Predicting the Future. We'll talk about computers in this text. First, listen and answer this question. What was the future electronic development that Leon Bagrid wasn't able to foresee? Leon Bagrid 没有能够预见到的电子发展是什么? Predicting the future is notoriously difficult. Who could have imagined, in the mid-1970s, for example, that by the end of the 20th century, computers would be as common in people's homes as TV sets? In the 1970s, computers were common enough, but only in big business, government departments, and large organizations. These were the so-called mainframe machines. Mainframe computers were very large indeed, often occupying whole air-conditioned rooms, employing full-time technicians, and run on specially written software. Though these large machines still exist, many of their functions have been taken over by small, powerful personal computers, commonly known as PCs. In 1975, a primitive machine called the Altair was launched in the USA. It can properly be described as the first home computer, and it pointed the way to the future. This was followed at the end of the 1970s by a machine called an Apple. In the early 1980s, the computer giant IBM produced the world's first personal computer. This ran on an operating system called DOS, produced by a then small company named Microsoft. The IBM personal computer was widely copied. From those humble beginnings, we have seen the development of the user-friendly home computers and multimedia machines which are in common use today. Considering how recent these developments are, it is even more remarkable that as long ago as the 1960s, an Englishman, Leon Bagret, was able to predict some of the uses of computers which we know today. Bagret dismissed the idea that computers would learn to think for themselves and would rule the world, which people liked to believe in those days. Bagret foresaw a time when computers would be small enough to hold in the hand when they would be capable of providing information about traffic jams and suggesting alternative routes, when they would be used in hospitals to help doctors to diagnose illnesses, when they would relieve office workers and accountants of dull, repetitive clerical work. All these computer uses have become commonplace. Of course, Leon Bagrat could not possibly have foreseen the development of the Internet the worldwide system that enables us to communicate instantly with anyone in any part of the world by using computers linked to telephone networks. Nor could he have foreseen how we could use the Internet to obtain information on every known subject, so we can read it on a screen in our homes and even print it as well if we want to. Computers have become smaller and smaller, more and more powerful, and cheaper and cheaper. This is what makes Leon Bagrat's predictions particularly remarkable. If he, or someone like him, were alive today, he might be able to tell us what to expect in the next 50 years. So what was the future electronic development that Leon Bagrat wasn't able to foresee? He wasn't able to foresee the Internet. He had foreseen the size of the computers, the usage, the usage in hospital, in office, in transport, but not the Internet, though Internet has become so common nowadays. Before the text introduces this Englishman called Leon Bagrat, it talks about what actually happened with the development of computers. They developed from the mainframe machines to home computers, then to personal computers, developing in a direction to become more and more user-friendly. At the end, the text says, 
If Leon Bagrat, or someone like him, were alive today, he might be able to tell us what to expect in the next 50 years. We were not someone like Leon Bagrat, but would you like to make a prediction about what would happen in the next 50 years? But first, let's look at the language points. Predicting the future is notoriously difficult. Notoriously, here it means predicting the future is difficult and this fact is notorious. Notoriously means famously, but it's often used to describe something bad that the thing is famous for. For example, this organization is notoriously inefficient. The fact that the organization is inefficient is notorious. Doctors notoriously neglect their own health and do not seek help when they should. So this fact that doctors neglect their own health is notorious. Employing full-time technicians. Employ here means use. We know that the basic meaning of employ is to pay somebody to work. For example, how many people does your company employ? They have employed different approaches to obtain these results. Here, employ also means use. They have taken different approaches. Have been taken over by small powerful personal computers. Be taken over means be replaced by. Look at these examples. His brother took over from him as the chief executive. I've asked my assistant to take over preparing for the conference. Take over doing something. Cars gradually took over from horses. Notice the preposition is from. A primitive machine was launched in the USA. Launched here means a new product was developed. For example, the company launched a new brand of beer last week. The press has just launched a new Sunday magazine. It can properly be described. Properly here means appropriately. But properly can also mean satisfactorily. For example, the car is not working properly. The car is not working satisfactorily. Make sure that you will dress properly for the interview. Here, properly means appropriately for the occasion. It pointed the way to the future. It means it showed the future direction. Look at these examples. A line of restaurants pointed the way to the theater, which means these restaurants showed the way or showed the direction to the theater. Recent medical discoveries are already pointing the way to more efficient treatment, have already shown the future tendency of more efficient treatment. This was followed by a machine called an apple. Be followed by is used to describe the time sequence. For example, the lightning was followed by a crash of thunder. It means the crash of thunder happened after the lightning. There was a major increase in immigration in the years that followed the First World War, which means in the years after the First World War. The computer giant IBM. Giant here is used figuratively. 商业巨人. 
We know the basic meaning of giant is a very big monster or person. For example, no fairy tale is complete without a princess, witch, or giant. 就是一个公主、一个女巫和巨人，这是童话的要素。If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of the giants. It is the famous saying of Newton. 这就是牛顿的名言。如果我看得更远，只是因为站在了巨人的肩膀上。He was one of the intellectual giants in the 17th century, which means he was one of the most important intellectuals at that time. The takeover battle is between two of America's industrial giants. Industrial giants, 工业巨人 Produced by a then small company, it means by a small company at that time, but. The company was no longer small.、I'll、give you more examples. I wanted to live in the city, but my then husband preferred the country. So it indicates he is no longer my husband now. The company questioned the then chairman about the missing money. He is no longer the chairman now. The IBM personal computer was widely copied. Here, copy means imitate. For example, they have copied the basic design from the Japanese model and made a few adjustments of their own. Their basic design is copying the Japanese model and making a few adjustments of their own. You can also copy somebody, which means to imitate somebody. For example, I always copied my brother in the things he said. And the way he dressed. 在各个方面，我都模仿我的兄弟。But in this example, he was caught while he was copying from another student during the exam. It means cheating. 这是抄袭的意思。From those humble beginnings, humble here means from those simple beginnings. Let's look at these examples to see the meaning of humble in different contexts. Even when she became rich and famous, she never forgot her humble background. Humble here means low in rank. 卑微的出身 Whenever you saw him, he was always wearing a humble smile. Humble here indicates the attitude to show that you are low in rank or importance. The humble stage coaches were gradually replaced by trains. Here, humble means the same as the one in the text, which is crude or simple. 原始的一站马车 The development of the user-friendly home computers. User-friendly means easy to be used. It's often used to describe computers or things related. To computers, for example, a user-friendly printer or a user-friendly software. The computer menu is supposed to be user-friendly, but I cannot understand a word of it. 电脑的使用说明书应当是容易使用的，但是我一个字儿也看不懂。Friendly is often used as a suffix. For example. Customer-friendly means something advantageous for the customers. Environment-friendly, friendly means harmless to the environment. He was able to predict some of the uses of computers. Predict, 预测 You can use predict to do something. For example. Storms are predicted to reach the north of the country this evening. You can also use that clause to follow predict. Who could have predicted that within ten years he would be in charge of the whole company? Or you can also use other clauses to follow predict. For example, we cannot predict when the next earthquake will happen. 
Both predict and foretell mean to tell something about the future. But predict means you have some kind of scientific basis. If you foretell, you don't have evidence. For example, he was a 16th century prophet who foretold how the world would end. Bagrat dismissed the idea that computers would learn to think for themselves. Dismiss certain idea means he refused to believe in that. We'll look at more examples of the meaning of dismiss. The teacher dismissed the class early because she had to attend a meeting. Dismiss the class means to call it a day. He laughed and dismissed my suggestion as naive. Dismiss my suggestion. He refused to consider my suggestion and thought it was naive. Let's not dismiss the idea before we've even thought about it. Let's not refuse to consider it. Suggesting alternative routes. Alternative means some other thing to replace. For example, they're looking for an alternative venue for the concert. Alternative energy, we talked about it last time. Alternative medicine, such as acupuncture. They would relieve office workers and accountants of dull, repetitive, clerical work. Relieve somebody of something means to help somebody by getting rid of certain burden. It's a formal use. For example, may I relieve you of that heavy bag? May I help you to take that heavy bag? The babysitter relieved her of many of the chores. To communicate instantly with anyone in any part of the world. Instantly is even sooner than immediately. For example, the driver was killed instantly. Or I recognized him instantly. Every known subject means every subject that human beings have possibly known about. Let's look at more examples with known as adjective. It is actually a known problem. This problem has already been known. He is a known drug dealer. Here known means famous. It's a little known fact that he was married before. It is some kind of fact that not many people have known about. In this text, we have learned several adverbs which can actually work as a clause. For example, predicting the future is notoriously difficult. Notoriously actually works as the clause of this fact. Predicting the future is difficult was notorious. It can probably be described as the first computer. Properly also works as a clause, which means it can be described as the first computer and the description is proper. This run on an operating system called DOS, produced by a then small company named Microsoft. Then also works as a clause. This run on the system produced by a company named Microsoft, which was small then. So we can see that adverbs can be used flexibly in order to make your style more concise. So this text talks about the indispensable part of our life now, which is computers. Just as the text says, computers are becoming more and more user-friendly, no matter in what size, desktops or laptops.
And the Internet, which Margaret failed to predict, is changing our lives totally. It has changed our ways of communication. We now write emails instead of letters. It has changed the mass media. We now can read news on the Internet. And we can even go shopping or book tickets, doing everything possible on the Internet, which is called e-commerce, etc., etc. So that our age is called the information age, and our globe is called the global village, because we can now share resources. But as any other kind of changes, there are people who are for them, there are those who are against them. One of their key arguments is that the virtual world provided by computers is gradually taking place of our real, physical, human world, especially human relationships. As any other kind of scientific progresses, computers should improve our lives instead of replacing our life itself. So much on the topic of computers. Bye for now.